in order for us to be successful, we need to work with external teams, um, yeah. you know, other groups at it, at Indeed. Um, you know, so our team incubator, the way that we're structured is we are a multidisciplinary team. Um, so our leadership team is made up of a bunch of, of different functional leaders. So we have program, product, engineering, marketing, UX, sales. And legal. And yeah. so, um, and that is the core to like our team. So we have about 100 employees um, across three locations globally. And so those people are core indeed incubator employees. So regardless which project shut down or start, we all Everyone's are involved. in incubator. Um, that being said, in order for our products to scale and to succeed and to get acquired, um, we need to be working with other groups outside of incubator on a regular basis. Um, you know, if a product is focused on job seekers, we need to go to the job seeker org. If a product is focused on, you know, small and medium sized businesses, we go to the SMB org and we work with different people. Um, you know, a lot of times like the program groups will work together on a certain campaign or the marketing teams. So, um, you know, we are, the way that we're built is we are autonomous to, to an extent, but in order for us to be successful, in order for our products to be successful, we need to work with core groups at Indeed um, to ensure that there's alignment and, um, you know, just also to get more data because, you know, we're, we're, we're building these products from scratch, whereas we have um, legacy products and they have a lot more data than we do on similar or adjacent topics. And for, it would be very valuable for us to, to have access to that. And the only way to do that is to continuously collaborate and talk to those groups. Okay. 